Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be in Proposition 5 of Book 4. In this proposition, we are going to learn how to construct a circle around a triangle such that the circle passes through each of the vertices of the triangles. So to do this, first we're going to bisect the line AB. Now I have three different triangles here for three different examples of the angles in the triangle and where the center of the circle hits. So for each of these three triangles, I have bisected the line AB at the point D, and I've bisected the line AC at the point E. Now what we're going to do is we're going to construct lines perpendicular to the lines AB towards the center of the triangle, and from line AC toward the center of the triangle. Again, you'll notice we have three triangles to show three separate cases. One, where these two lines intersect somewhere within the triangle, when it intersects on the base of the triangle, or in this case, if these two lines intersect somewhere outside of the triangle. Now with F as the center and AF as the radius, we draw a circle, and this circle will pass through the points A, B, and C in all three of these cases. So this is the general method for any type of triangle. Now how do we know that this will actually work? All right, again looking at our three separate triangles, we look at the triangles AFD and BFD. DF is common, so it is the same length in both triangles. DA is equal to DB because we bisected the line, so these two sides are equal. And of course this is a right angle triangle right here. So we have side, angle, side. Side, angle, side, they're all equal. Both triangles are equal, which means that BF is equal to AF. Now this is true in all three examples of our triangle because this angle here is always a right angle. These two angles are equal, these two lines are equal because we bisected the entire line AB. So we have that BF is equal to AF. Well we can do the same thing and show that AF is equal to CF. Again in all cases AF is equal to CF. So we have BF is equal to AF and AF is equal to CF, which means this line is equal to this line, which is equal to that line. And since they are all equal, we can draw a circle using any one of these equal lines as our radii, and it will pass through the endpoints. Again, our circle will pass through the endpoints because BF equals AF equals FC, which means they are all equal, which means they are all the radius of the same circle. As you can see, this works for the three separate cases of triangles. Now we should make a note that if the center of the circle falls within the triangle, then the angle BAC is less than a right angle. If the center of the circle falls on the diameter, or on the base, sorry, of the triangle, if the center of the circle falls on the base, then the angle BAC is a right angle. And finally, if the center of the circle falls outside the triangle, then the angle BAC is greater than a right angle. This will be used in further proofs. So there you have it. This is how you draw a circle so that it goes through the three points of a triangle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.